The February numbers are in. The data indicates it's a buyer's market. Does that mean you can't win as a seller? Absolutely not. Both buyers and sellers can win. I'll be right back. I got more to share. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mike's Market Update. My name is Mike Rennick. I am your host for this video. Let's dig into the numbers. But before we do that, I want to share one thing. Why do I take time to study the market? Most agents out there, they know what's happening. Good agents, they understand what's happening. There's a difference. But the great agents, the kind of agents you want to hire, can explain what's happening. And they put all of that together to achieve the best deal for you personally. So let's look at this. We've got to understand what's happening. If we look at listings, this is year over year. It's called February data, but it's effective through the end of January, January 31st. So listings are up 76%. Solds, the number of units that have sold in the past month are up 7% from a year ago. Pendings, those are the units that are under contract that'll close in the next 30, 60, 90 days. It's break even with last year. Price is up 6%. That's interesting. Listings are up, but prices are up 6%. Days on the market are up 46%. Month of inventory, how much inventory is out there. If nothing new came on the market, it's up 62% from where it was. Now that's looking at a point in time from a year ago to this year, end of January. That doesn't tell the whole story. Let's look at this next chart. And let's start with the for sale. That's the light green line. You can see by the slope of the blue line that I've driven, I drew up at the top of the chart, uh, the listings are up substantially in terms of um, we have 76% more available. And we see that it's been climbing over the last three or four months. So there's more opportunities out there. That presents an opportunity for buyers and a challenge for sellers. And I'll come back to that. When we go in now and we look at the green bar, the dark green bar, solds are kind of trending down. So the number of sales, even though sales are up from a year ago, data point January versus January, the downward trend is there. We need to keep an eye on that. Then we take a look at what I call the red squiggly line, if you would, those are the pendings. It's kind of been all over the board there, and that's kind of break even where it was a year ago. This is the data where we start. This is macro, though. This is Sarasota, Manatee County. Your plan needs to be specific. We need to drill down to the neighborhood you want to buy or sell in or the condo association. This is just the beginning of where we start. Let's look at price. Price right now, I said, is up 6.2%. From a year ago, that's just a point in time. When we look at it, price has kind of been oscillating up and down, up and down, up and down. That's going to pair itself out. If we can continue to stay in a buyer's market, ultimately price is going to have to fall. Can buyers and sellers still win with that? They can. I'll be back in a minute to tell more. Days on the market, up almost 46%, trending upwards. You can see that on this chart here. That is when you list your condo on average or you list your home on average, it takes 67 days to get it sold. Now, for everyone that sells in 30 days, that means one's going to sell in 90 days. We'll come back to that. Months of inventory. We hit a huge blip in terms of the last data at the end of January. We need to follow that. But we see the upward trend has been there. It's moving forward. Um, here's your plan to win. So it's clearly a buyer's market. It gives the buyers more opportunity. You need an agent that's focused on exactly what you're looking for, an agent that listens does the homework, and just doesn't spend time sending you a whole bunch of listings, he or she needs to send you the right listings. That's our approach. So we can talk more if you give me a call. Now, sellers, absolutely, it's a buyer's market. It's in their favor. But it's all about distinguishing your property. How is it unique? What we have now in our database is over 100,000 people that have voluntarily given us their information with the type of property they're looking at. That's the first step. We take a look at that, we go in and we pull folks that are looking for a property like yours, whether it's a home or a condo or whatever, and we start marketing to them. That gives us a huge advantage. We need to also take a look at the positive attributes your home brings, and that's how we build our marketing campaign. So even though it's a buyer's market, sellers and buyers can both win. You need an agent that's not afraid of that four-letter word called WORK, W-O-R-K. This is just the beginning. We need to drill deeper into your neighborhood, into your condo association, all of the above, and take a look at this and then develop a plan after listening to your specific needs that will hit a home run for you. 
Let's continue this conversation. Feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Mike Rennick. My personal, my direct cell, because you should be able to reach me when you need me, that's the way it should work, is 941-400-8735. I look forward to your call. Thanks for watching.